Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we want to talk about fungal and yeast infections. We've learned a lot about this type of disease over the last five, ten years, and what we're learning is that if you do not address those issues of the fungus and the yeast, whatever condition you have, you're going to have a hard time getting well. In fact, you won't be able to get well. So for many of you, whether it's chronic sinus, irritable bowel syndrome, or deeply seated candidiasis, you're going to need to listen to this program and implement these recommendations. Plus, on today's show, Cindy joins us in the kitchen for a very tasty recipe called Apple Cranberry Crisp. It's one of my favorites during the holiday, and I think you'll make it a favorite for your family, too. That's our program. But first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. If you eat a lot of cured meat, such as bacon, you may have a higher risk of kidney stones. And if you consume products with high fructose corn syrup, you may have increased your risk even more. A new study from scientists in Boston made this discovery. Researchers at Brigham and Women's Hospital followed more than 240,000 patients for an average of 16 years. They found the diet played a role in kidney stone formation. The study revealed that patients who ate the most low-fat dairy, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and whole grains had a lower risk of kidney stones, and they also had avoided cured meats and corn syrup. That type of healthy diet lowered the risk of developing kidney stones by almost 45 percent, or about half. Folks, the diet that helps to prevent kidney stones is a diet rich in calcium, magnesium, oxalate, and citrate, and not low in these critical nutrients. It's a diet that in many ways is just the opposite of what doctors have been prescribing for decades to prevent kidney stones. Physicians often ask patients to follow a dairy-free diet that is low in a variety of minerals, including calcium, oxalate, and vitamin C from green leafy vegetables. Some 80% of all kidney stones are made up of calcium oxalate. Well, the old standard diet might have made sense at one time, but research indicates something different. A diet that contains abundant calcium, magnesium, oxalate, and whole foods helps to restore proper mineral balance, and that in turn decreases your risk of kidney stones. Now, in order to complete the diet, add abundant water, and I'm serious about the water, along with three glasses of orange juice or real lemonade every day, and strictly avoid high fructose corn syrup and cured meats. Now for the vast majority of you, those painful stones will be a thing of the past. Do you have chronic sinusitis and an, another difficult to manage health condition? Well, if you do, you are not alone. New research presented at the annual convention of ear, nose, and throat specialists showed sinus problems are often found in patients with other health problems. The researchers evaluated electronic medical records of some 2 million patients. They found those who suffer from chronic sinusitis are also much more likely to have other significant health problems. Those health problems include asthma, nasal polyps, hypertension, arthritis, and chronic pain. Other related research presented at the same ENT conference found that more Americans are turning to alternative health practices to control their chronic sinusitis. You know, folks, a few years ago, research from the highly respected Mayo Clinic found the majority of people who have chronic sinusitis actually have a sinus fungal infection. Plus, if you have allergies, the sinus condition is much more likely to become chronic. That means it reoccurs frequently. And as we have learned from previous programs, when the sinuses are inflamed, it causes generalized total body inflammation, which in turn increases the risk of a wide variety of illnesses, including pain, depression, and even cardiovascular disease. Folks, the real breakthrough in all this research is the discovery that the majority of you with chronic sinus problems actually have a sinus fungal infection. And for the majority, this can be treated successfully. Well, today on Your Health, we'd like to discuss the natural and safe methods used to bring fungal infections under control. If you have a chronic sinus condition or any form of fungal infection, including chronic yeast condition, the program today has valuable information just for you. But first... Cindy joins us in the kitchen with a healthy recipe for apple cranberry crisp. It's delicious. Stay tuned, won't you?